So we will be talking about how to, how to measure MySQL performance uh, in really easy ways, uh, not to dig in deeply, just, to, uh, just to, to get some signs of bad things that can happen with MySQL, which is happening all the time. And um, uh, let's, let's just meet each other. Uh, my name is Vlad. Uh, I do MySQL for a long, long time. I enjoy performance consulting. I do some uh, operations for, 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 the, for the customers. And uh, it's, uh, it's, really, it's really amazing how uh, sometimes you can prevent some bad things just, just looking inside a little bit. So, um, but it, it happens. It happens for all of us. Uh, Good when it happens, like when you receive alert in the middle of the night from a, from, from a pager duty. It's, it's a good way. It's a good way. A little bit worst way when, when your boss is calling in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day when you're on the beach or whatever, whatever you are. Um, and the worst case when a customer calls you and tell, okay, my, site is not, my website is not working for like three hours. Uh, and you don't, you don't really want, uh, want that at, at all times. You just want to avoid these things. Uh, so uh, how, to, how to do that? And just by the way, how, uh, how many of you get, uh, get, a, get a calls from a boss? So you know what I'm talking about. Well, and it's a, it's, it's a question how to, uh, how to structure your work with, a, with a MySQL. You can, be, uh, you can be reactive or uh, you can be proactive. You can react with, uh, to alerts that you receive uh, or you just can, uh, can dig in deeply a little bit uh, day by day to, to just, to, just to see how, uh, how MySQL acting, how, how data set grow up. So you will not get any, uh, any issues like out of the clean blue sky. You will still can get issues, but uh, uh, we're, we're looking to, way, uh, to, to prevent them. So uh, MySQL has uh, lots of metrics that uh, you, can, you can take a look on, and there, is, there, there are lots of metrics uh, on the system side. And let's just, uh, well, basically, uh, you, can, you can log in and see uh, how, 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 uh, how much CPU is utilized, how much IO is utilized. Uh, you probably have some graphing tools. Uh, how many of you have Cacti or, or Graphite or, or something like this? Uh, just take a look, guys. Take a look how many hands do that. Do that, actually, because it's, it's a good thing. Uh, it it gives you an idea how uh, MySQL acting while, uh, while you're not, uh, not working. It's, uh, it's, it's really good stuff when you see, OK, there is a spike, uh, IO spike uh, in the morning. Probably it's related to my cron job that I run. So I probably need to, to fix that or move it to the, some uh, other node or just, uh, just, I don't know, just remove the cron, cron job, uh, replace it by, uh, by something else. Problem with those uh, graphing and, uh, and stuff, that it doesn't give you any idea of if, if it's bad or, or, or good. Like you have 10% uh, CPU utilization. Is it good? Well, probably because uh, CPU is not saturated, but uh, at the same time, you may have everything just locked out and nothing works because of, uh, because of locking in place. And that's because uh, CPU can't be used. So uh, you need to look a little bit deeply into, into what's going on in my scale site. And uh, uh, let's just uh, see how, what, what my scale has in, in, in this in this matter. So uh, we probably need to understand the general load of the MySQL instance. We probably uh, want to see, to understand our read-write rate. So how, how much we write, uh, writing to the, to, to the database, how much we're reading. Can we, uh, can we actually move out from MySQL at, at some point just to just replace with some uh, better, better technology for, for your current uh, workload? IO utilization is a key. If, if you have IO saturated, you, you, will not, you will not be able to do anything to serve any queries. Locks and weights can, can give you lots of pain. And uh, connectivity, connectivity issues uh, comes up unexpectedly, very rare, but unexpectedly. And of course, it's queries. Queries are all in, in, in all databases. Uh, and uh, it's not MySQL, which is slow. It's, it's a queries. It, it, 
I, I know that people tell him this all the time. So uh, about the general load, you probably want to know how, uh, how much query is my SQL service uh, per second. And uh, where, when, when is the peak time, when is the slow time? Uh, because on the slow time you can, you can perform some changes, you can do some, uh, some operations without interfering with, uh, with, uh, with high production traffic. Uh, read write ratio can, it can help you to understand uh, how to tune my skill properly and uh, when, to, when, when, when to scale, when, it, when it's time to scale. Uh, it, it also can tell uh, that uh, your query cache is, uh, is, is not working anymore and you probably need to, uh, need to do some uh, more caching on the application side. And uh, the more you write, the more uh, IO is saturated, uh, so uh, you, you probably will, will, will need to know these numbers just, just as a DBA. Uh, IO pressure, uh, there is, uh, there are a few, uh, well, there, is lo there are lots of uh, metrics on my skill side that related to uh, IO pressure, but let's just, uh, we don't have much time, so let's just uh, talk about uh, really important ones. Uh, handler read R&D is, is about, um, is about to, uh, is related to random reads, uh, oh, mostly on uh, pro, uh, my, my eyes uh, affected as well. I don't really uh, remember uh, about INADB stuff. I think, uh, I think uh, guys will help me uh, about that. Hmm? Uh, yeah, but uh, it's, it's for, uh, it's, it's for my eyes, but uh, for INADB it's a little bit, a little bit different. So um, for, uh, how, how much uh, data INADB uh, writes uh, can, uh, these two, uh, two parameters can show you, like uh, INADB data writes and IDB, uh, INADB data reads. Uh, there, is, uh, there are two others, uh, written and read, uh, which is uh, first one, fir first two is about how much IO requests uh, done uh, in, in, to, to read and write the data, and uh, at another two is how it, 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 it's a size, so, and you probably need to focus on the uh, I/O uh, number of I/O operations because it, it's uh, especially if you uh, if you don't use SSD, it can be a problem. Uh, like r any any uh, usual usual disk can 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 serve you like what? Yeah, yeah, I love I love that guy. Uh, so uh, you usually need to, to focus on the, on the IO, uh, number of IOs per second just because it's, uh, it's, it's vital. If you use SSD, it's more uh, relaxed, but uh, usual, usual uh, disk can serve like 200 uh, IO per second, no more, and you can easily stuck here. Uh, the, uh, another, another thing is how, how INADB login uh, Login works. How much uh, log operations per second uh, it, it utilizes? It's it's I/O operations. It, it's number of I/O operations as well. Uh, now uh, we go into the locks, and locks are really painful. We just we just had a uh, had a situation when uh, databases w went down because of the dead locks. So. Uh, INADB log, uh, log weights, I think it's, uh, I'm, uh, th this is a mistake, it's, it's about IO. Uh, how, how many, uh, no, how many, uh, how, how many wait, how many times my scale uh, waiting on the, uh, on, on, on the log until uh, log is flushed. So uh, if you see non-zero non value here, you probably need to, uh, to fix that, it's 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 a bad it's a bad sign. Uh, immediate locks is still okay. Is still okay. It's trying to uh, my skill trying to lock table because of the uh, different different reasons, uh, especially for my ISM. For my ISM, every write uh, writes on the table, every update, every insert, so every insert or delete will uh, will lock uh, will lock table. But uh, for INADB uh, locking. It, 
should not be, uh, should, it's not that easy. You need to alter table to, to completely lock, lock it. Uh, and in new version, it, uh, not every alter uh, performing the uh, complete table lock. But, uh, but you, you, can still, you can still get, uh, get table uh, locked and uh, unoperational, and this is really, really bad. Uh, in this case, to, 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 see, uh, to see more details for, uh, about INADB locks, uh, especially deadlocks, you need to, to have, you need to look in uh, show engine INADB status. It will, it will show you recent uh, deadlocks. Uh, it will give you an idea how, uh, which tables uh, affected and so on. Uh, net networking is rarely a problem. So most of the time someone said, okay, this is a network issue. Uh, let's, let's just file, uh, file support ticket uh, to, to the network. It's probably not true. Uh, network is really, really stable, but you still need to check it to make sure that everything is fine. Like uh, MySQL has uh, several, uh, several network related, uh, key several related metrics, like how many, tr uh, how many, uh, uh, how many connections do we, do we have, like max user connections or just con uh, connections, current, current connection to, uh, connections to the MySQL. And you probably want to, to, to look on, the, on those graphs uh, on a daily basis. Uh, threads created uh, give, you, give you idea of how many uh, use, uh, threads, how, how many users connected and uh, MySQL has to create a th thread to serve it. Uh, so if you have big, uh, big number here, you probably uh, need to, to increase uh, thread pool, uh, thread cache uh, on, the, on the MySQL site. Uh, sometimes you, you can, uh, you, you, you want to see uh, how much, uh, how much uh, con uh, clients uh, has, been, uh, has been rejected. Sometimes it's okay, like uh, you, don't, you do not close uh, connection properly and uh, wait time out uh, expired and uh, MySQL just closing connection on, on its side. Sometimes it's, it's, it's not that good, especially for un, uh, when users are not authenticated for uh, dedicated host, uh, hosting. If you don't have firewall set up properly, you can, you can get some uh, unwanted visitors and this is, uh, this is, a, good, uh, this is a good thing to, to check, to check it well. Not, not every day, but still. And uh, most of the uh, issues are query related. So those, uh, those things that we, we talk about is just general, uh, general uh, metrics of the MySQL. Sometimes you can say, okay, it's like average temperature in a hospital and you, you, will, be, you will be right, but uh, it still gives you an idea of how, how MySQL acting inside. Uh, for, for the queries, you can, you can narrow down uh, issue pretty much, uh, pretty much instantly and it will, it will give you a lot of information. Like uh, if you have, uh, there is select scan metric in the MySQL site. If you see uh, that number uh, per second, or y y if it's not, not zero, this is main, uh, probably, uh, main risk for your for, for your MySQL server because this is a full full table scan. When you have small data set, it's okay. It's very fast. Uh, it's everything is in memory. But as your data grow, you can sometimes just uh, have MySQL stuck on on on, on the scanning full table, and it happens because uh, you can miss uh, you, you you can uh, you can miss index on the table. You can uh, you need to create it, and uh, everything will be much better. Sometimes uh, your query uh, created just not properly, like uh, like sometimes you just uh, MySQL can't uh, can't handle the, uh, queries like this properly. Uh, maybe maybe you use something uh, like like this, like uh, infix uh, infix indexing is not supported by by MySQL. You you can only with uh, B three you can on, on only use prefixes and then uh, star. Uh, sometimes it's, it's and this is my favorite. This is my favorite, and uh, uh, this is a really nasty thing because uh, rent will be calculated for each ta uh, for each row in a table, and then MySQL will sort the whole data set. 
this is really good query if you want to kill my scale, especially if you have several terabytes. Just, just, just try it, not in, not in production, not in production. I want to be responsible uh, for this. And even worst, if you have uh, non-zero select full join, which means that you have join and the second table has full table scan for every row in the first table. And you, the good thing is you probably, uh, you, you will notice this just, just right away because everything will be stuck and, and the users start complaining uh, really, really fast. Temporary table is another nasty thing and uh, I have, uh, I'm running out of time. They can, uh, they can be, uh, they can be uh, this uh, behavior can be created uh, because of the several issues like you, if you use group by, if you use subqueries, if you use distinct plus order by, in, good in a good case, uh, everything will be in memory. In the worst case, uh, it will go to the disk and uh, it will be really, really, really slow. So uh, generally, metrics, uh, metrics are not enough. You need to, uh, to, have the, uh, to take a look on the, on the queries. And uh, looking, uh, just summarizing uh, that stuff, well, we, we need to do system reviews. We need to do the health checks like only uh, on, on, on a daily basis. If it's, if it's not daily basis, it's at least on weekly. You need to know your system well. You need to know your system better than MySQL does. In this case, uh, in that case, you will, you will not hit any, any issues unexpectedly. And, uh, well, walking through, I, I, I do my scale health check for, for a long, long time and it's really boring. It's like, look on this graph, look on this graph, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. And uh, it, it's really, it's, it really takes time. So uh, there are tools to, uh, to automate it. Uh, I know that Percona guys created a nice, uh, nice tool uh, that can show you most of, the, uh, all, all, most of the information you need on a daily basis. I know uh, Vivid Cortex provides uh, provides advanced um, uh, advanced statistics for for MySQL stuff, and but uh, it it all need it requires to install something on your system and uh, send the data out. For myself, I created a poor man health check script that uh, collects all the information like once a day and sends me email. Uh, with all, all the information. I'm not saying it, you should use it uh, or you should try that. There are lots of tools that already exist. It, it, I, just, I just created it for myself. And um, so far I like it. You can, you can uh, go to the GitHub and uh, take a look at it if you like. So what else to do? The main thing is to know uh, how my scale acting. And uh, you you want to uh, to buy uh, to buy a good book by that created by uh, Percona guys and Baron Schwartz. Uh, it wor it's worth it. It's really really big, but it's worth it. Every every single page. Uh, we have uh, there is my skill troubleshooting book by Sveta Smirnova. She's here. Ask her for a discount. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and finally. Uh, you can just walk through the slides and uh, take a look, uh, compare what, what, what your MySQL shows to make sure everything is fine. Thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, any questions? <laughs> no questions. Okay, if you're shy about uh, asking me questions about your, uh, your bright and shiny installation, you can do it later. Uh, like out of the room. Thank you. Come on. Let's let's have a, let's have a fight there. What's that? Let's have a fight there. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm, I'm joking. Oh, okay.